Creating project estimates and turning them into a live project can be a pain because of duplicate work or because you're juggling multiple tools. In this quick video, I'm going to share how you can do both in SmartSuite, giving you the full functionality you need to estimate projects, turn them into live projects, while also giving you the separation you need during the estimation phase. We're going to be using a SmartSuite dashboard for this, allowing us to see the project we're estimating, as well as the task or the phases that go into the project. The first step is to define the scope, which can include the project goals, the constraints, as well as the time to spend on each task of the project. We'll start by creating an example project. The default value we have for projects is set to estimating. If you know which rate card you're going to be using, you'll be able to select that here. Next, we'll want to build out the work breakdown structure of our project. To do so, we can open up a project, scroll down to the tasks, and start creating records for each task of the project. Let's create one together. We'll put in the title of the task. We'll pick a due date, start and end date. We can add estimated hours for this task and estimated budget. When we hit save, it's now linked to this project. If we close out of the record view, we can see the task inside of this dashboard. From here, we can continue to create the other tasks that go into this project. I'll add some more now. Once you create all the different tasks for this project and you've added due date, estimated hours, and budget, we have our total estimated hours for the project as well as our task budget. From here, you're able to create a project budget based on that, or it could be a hard budget where you need to change values in the tasks. For our tasks, we're able to look into our available roles and pick the role for each phase. When we've added the roles, we're able to see our estimated cost and fees that we average from these roles. And then looking at the project, we're able to see the financial projections using our unnamed roles. We can see in this example, here are estimated fees, our estimated costs, our margin and margin percentage. You can fine tune your financials by picking different rate cards or picking different roles for the tasks. For example, I can remove this rate card and apply a different rate card and see the estimated margin and margin percentage change based on the edits you make. If you change a task to have a different role owner, you can see the change in margin in real time. After you make your updates to your rate cards, to the estimated hours, to the roles of the tasks. We can start adding soft allocations to the resources we have available based on the roles we have picked. Using SmartSuite's unique feature, dynamic filtering, we're able to filter to only see the resources that match the role we picked for that task. I'm now going to assign relevant people. Once we assign soft allocations to resources, the estimated costs now pull from the resource we've linked not from the general role, which updates the project estimate, giving us the exact margin percentage. Before we continue, I quickly want to disclose that the structure of the estimates in the projects is customizable with the smart suite being so flexible. If you're curious how you can use this for your team, feel free to book a time to chat using a link in the description. We can continue fine tuning the financials by changing the rate card, the estimated hours, the roles and the exact resources on it until we get a margin percentage that we are happy with. Once this is done, we can then share the proposal with a client. To do so, we can go to our tasks and in a shared proposal view, we can share a link directly to our clients grouping by the roles. So our client can see the breakdown and costs for each phase going into it. Once you get approval from your client and you're ready to start the project, it's easy as changing a status from estimating to start project. Because we're in an estimating dashboard, it's going to filter out the project as well as the task because we're no longer in the estimation stage. We can now move to our live project with all the finances we set in stone. Moving over to tasks, we're able to go to a view called called my live task by project, which shows you live project tasks that have been assigned to you. When you flip the status from estimating to start projects, it creates the hard allocation of time to the people that you've selected to resource in the different tasks. From here, team members can track their time on a task using the start timer. When time is tracked, it will count against the estimated hours, giving us the hours remaining as well. And inside of that share view that the client has, that information will be updated. So your client is up to date on where you're at with a project.